What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, the network. And today's topic is global synchronization, which is section 1.4 F Foxtrot of the CCMP route exam, exam code 300-101 version 2.0, subsection under 1.4, explain TCP operations. And let's go ahead and look at the exam blueprint, see where we came from and where we're going. All right, right here is the exam blueprint. Again, we are at 1.4 F, global synchronization, under 1.4 explain TCP operations. We're going to wrap that up and move on to 1.5, describe IP operations. And move on to 1.4A or 1.5A alpha, starvation. Global synchronization. Global synchronization is a phenomenon that occurs when you have multiple TCP streams sending its traffic at, a, at, a, an, at, at an exponential rate of speed and then it uh, it throttles its speed all at the same time, causing what's called slow start. Now, it throttled its speed because of windowing. Y'all remember TCP windowing. If you don't, go ahead and go back, I think, two videos back. And that's what windowing is. And then it kind of speeds up its traffic again. And then it slows it down. And it speeds it up. It keeps doing that, right? And causes this, like, waveform pattern. And this waveform pattern going all at the same time is called global synchronization. Now, let's go over the commands. These are the commands we're going to go over to kind of look at, look into global synchronization. This is, uh, we got random detect and debug IP TCP. Now, you ain't got to know these commands, but, it, you know, it's good to know these are bonus commands that you can use to kind of investigate any kind of congestion that you may have. Now, keep in mind, this section, global synchronization if you look in the exam blueprint here, it says explain TCP operations. So we don't really have to necessarily memorize these commands or whatever. But, you know, as you can see right here, it says the following topics are general guidelines for the content that is likely to be included on the exam. However, other related topics may also appear on any specific version of the exam. So basically, any of this shit fair game if they want to go deeper into it and they might have stuff that's not even on the blueprint they may throw at you so you know it's good to know these commands to kind of help you investigate uh any kind of congestion or global synchronization but you don't have to memorize these commands so back to the powerpoint these are the commands official definition yes from cisco i'm gonna try to do my best to find these definitions from cisco Global synchronization manifests when multiple TCP hosts reduce their transmission rates in response to packet dropping and then increase their packet dropping and then increase their transmission rates once again when the congestion is reduced. Now, that's what windowing does, right? Remember in the uh, in the windowing video, I explained the football passing with the, with, with the father and the son, right? Well, when you're on a computer, there's multiple TCP streams. So it's like you might as well say we got a whole bunch of fathers and sons passing footballs with each other. Right. You can do a net stat on your computer, like just do, go on a command prompt, do net stat. You'll see multiple TCP streams that are happening on your computer. They may be TCP streams for a banner on a link, a hyperlink that you click, a picture, a video that's going on all at the same time. And um, global synchronization is when you got traffic for all of these streams going up and down all at the same time because of the windowing feature with TCP traffic. Why is it bad? Global synchronization is bad because you're under you underutilizing your bandwidth. So remember your ISP gives you a certain amount of bandwidth that you could that you're allotted, right? But you want to send a whole bunch of traffic, right? Or, you know, windowing kind of causes you to slow it down or spend send more than you need to. And you're going to have it, it has to throttle its speed sometimes because you only have a, a certain amount of traffic and, and you try not to drop your packets. If you're not utilizing your bandwidth fully, then global synchronization can occur. Right. Um, you also have large queuing delays. You gonna have some traffic that has priority over others. So the, the traffic that doesn't have too much priority gets queued. It gets put on hold, and meanwhile, you got the higher priority traffic getting sent, but you're gonna have too much queuing, and that that causes that's caused by global synchronization, or it causes global synchronization actually. 
It also causes congestion because of the queuing and stuff. And then the bottlenecking, if you remember what bottlenecking is, bottlenecking is when you only have a certain amount of bandwidth that you're allotted, but you but you know you can only send so much. So it's like a it's like a bottleneck. You can only send so much traffic through that, you know, through that hole, through that bottleneck. Um, and like I explained before, uh, the TCP pass, the uh, TCP, uh, actually the three-way, this is kind of the windowing slide right here. So remember, you got the father and son or the sender and receiver sending traffic to each other, right? But you got multiple fathers and sons <laughs> sending traffic to, traffic to his father's day, right? So they just passing the football to each other because that represents the multiple TCP streams that you have on your network or on your window, on your, on your, on your computer, on your browser, whatever. Now, what is a remedy for global synchronization? That's where dun, 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 WRED or sometimes called WRED which stands for weighted random early detection. Um, basically, that's a feature that's supported by Cisco routers. And um, basically what it does, it kind of, it, it, it cues certain traffic. It, it basically controls the flow of your traffic by putting priority on, on some of it. That's, that's kind of like a quality of service. Now, I'm going to fire up this router and go over a, co a couple of these commands. But like I said, this you ain't got to really get too deep into it. You just got to know what global synchronization is and kind of explain it for the CCMP route exam. But, you know, if you really want to get more deeper into this, that's where you get the quality service. This is more of a CCNA collaboration or CCMP collaboration topic. It's even a CCIE topic if you really want to get really deep into it. But I'm going to kind of touch on it a little bit on this router real quick. Let's go ahead and fire that bad boy up. These are the commands that we're going to go over. Random detect and debug TC, debug IP TCP. Now, the funny thing about this random detect command, I'm going to show you all something real quick. All right. So we got the router fired up right here in the background. Let's go into enable mode and debug IP TCP. And I'll show you all a couple of options right here that you can use to kind of help you uh, discover any kind of global synchronization that you may have. You uh, do debug IP TCP congestion that finds that that helps you investigate any TCP congestion events that you that's may that's occurring on your router. You could also do um, debug IP TCP packets. Now, again, be careful with these debugging commands, especially on the live environment. This may hog your CPU on, on, on your router because you're going to have multiple TCP streams that's going on here. You could also do debug TCP, debug IP TCP transactions. That's another debugging command that you could use. Now, let's go into global configuration mode, configure terminal, and do command that I was showing you before, which is random detect. Actually, let me go ahead and turn this off because I believe I have turned it on, but I want to show y'all what happens when you do. All right, I don't think it was on. Actually, we're going to go into the interface, fast, Ethernet, zero, zero, random, I put a zero there, random detect. You turn that on, and you're going to get this error right here if you have an old model router that I have. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. I'm going to go ahead and flex on y'all real quick. This is hardware. This is a Cisco uh, 1841 router. I don't know if y'all can see that. 1800 series. It's a good little cheap little router that you can get about $40, $50 on eBay. Flex on y'all real quick. This this for uh, this for your boy uh, uh, Antonio and Kelvin. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna flex too much on y'all because you know I gotta step my subscriber game up. But anyways, um, I, the reason we the reason why we got this error is because this is a deprecated command. Basically, it's telling you this is an old ass command. We don't even support this no more. So if you wanna kind of use the more updated version of this, you need to do uh, it says to con consult with this that bulletin right there five eight zero thirty two. Right. Um, the updated version of that command, I believe, is policy 
dash map but I don't think you got to do it on the interface you just do it globally and do policy dash map and then you got your options you name the, po the type of policy and then you go from there I'm not gonna go too deep into setting this up because like I said this is more of a collaboration slash CCIE topic so you just really need to know what global synchronization is uh, for for the CCMP route exam so this random dash detect command basically enables weighted random early detection and that's a feature that we use to mitigate this global synchronization problem that can occur on your on your router but if you want further explanation of uh, w red or weighted random early detection i'm gonna put a link in the description below your boy kevin wallace he breaks it down i mean he has you know how i did like the little the football passing explanation he does like his own analogy i don't even want to get too much into it if you really really want to know about that topic like i said it's a collaboration topic it's a ccie topic but check out the video and uh check out the the link in the video below that kevin wallace it really explains w red so go ahead and comment, like, subscribe to the network.